Psalm 42, verse 1 and 2 say, As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Why does a deer, heart means deer, desire water? For thirst, for cleansing, and for comfort. A total person is a body, a soul, and a spirit. Thirst is for the body. John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John 1.14 says, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus is God with a body. Jesus is the Word. The Word was God. And the Word became flesh. So Jesus is God with a body. We know that He is able to understand our fleshly needs because He's been here and experienced it for Himself. Water quenches thirst. Cleansing is for the soul. Forgiveness. First John 1 John 1.9 If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ephesians 4.32 says, and be ye kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. This soul is your personality. It's what makes you who you are. It's where your sin is kept and where God's forgiveness is important. The Father is God's soul, His brain. It is God the Father who forgives. Matthew 8, 2 and 3 say, And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Water is used to cleanse. If something is dirty, blast with water to make it clean again. We require God's water, living water, to be cleansed of our sins. John 7.38 says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So if you believe in God, out of you flows God's water. M Matthew 9, 6, and 7 say, But that... Ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go into thine house. And he arose and departed to his house. Jesus, the Son of Man, hath power on earth to forgive sin. Bear, John 14, 12 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, 
shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Jesus had the power to forgive sins. We have the power to forgive sins because out of our bellies flow God's living water. John 7:38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. 2 Corinthians 2:10. To whom ye forgive anything, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything, to whom I forgave it, for your sakes forgave it, I in the person of Christ. And if anything man forgives, God forgives. Comfort is the Holy Spirit's territory. John fourteen twenty six, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. If a deer is hot, it will seek the cold water of a still lake for comfort. It will walk into the water to get itself out of the sun and cool off. Water comforts and comfort is the Holy Spirit's territory. Psalm 42, 1 and 2 As the deer panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? The deer requires water because it has a need, be it thirst, dirtiness, or heat. When, when one looks for God, they must first acknowledge their need, be it healing, forgiveness, or comfort. The first step in prayer is to recognize your need as the leper needed to be cleansed of his leprosy. Matthew 8, 2 and 3 say, And behold, there came the leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will. Be thou clean, and immediately his leprosy was cleansed. The cleansing made his life more comfortable.